I have no idea who sent me this, and I don't remember ordering anything. And it's from SS Discount Center uh, in Philadelphia. So it's a mystery box. Mystery books. Mystery mystery box. <laughs> so I'm gonna open it with my broadhead. Bad boy right there. And it came to my house. So it's somebody going to be interesting to say the least. Right. Good lord. Oh, I know what these are. <laughs> um I did I uh, I actually did order these. Uh and they I didn't know it came from SS Discount Center, but anyway, <laughs> surprise! These are rebreakable um, uh, boards. Um, they're for practicing your martial arts breaks. So, yeah, pretty cool. I didn't know they came that fast. You got the thin ones for beginners. There. These are real thin. And uh, a little thicker one. And of course, the black belt. The black one. So that's pretty cool. These are arranged in, uh, I guess, belt rankings. Kind of. Uh, of course, you got your yellow belts, you know, blue belts, and eh, not so much. Blue belts are a little higher. Well, I guess they are lower than red belts. And then. Uh, Black Belt is a full-size board. Pretty cool. So be looking forward to these. Uh, me trying to break these anyway. Um, they are different sizes, so I guess you could stack them if you wanted to. Uh, well, let me show you one. Yeah. The way they work, you go ahead and open it, is uh, they're kind of tongue and groove. Let me see if I can... Yeah. Let me break a small one for you. My hands are dirty. Alright, so there, let's see if you can see that tongue and groove in there. So, um, after you break them, what you do is you, uh, you'll you slide them back together. So let me break one. Oh yeah! Just like that. And then, line it up. Something like that. There we go. Line it up like that. And then... Uh, get yeah, Kind of get straight back together. And there you have it. Ready for another break. Um, what these are good for is to practice your aim as a beginner breaker and also it will give you a sense of how much force it will take to break a board. Uh, boards, believe it or not, <laughs> are very inconsistent. Uh, you can get different size boards uh, and, and you can cut them uh, a little bit thinner, a little bit thicker and uh, some boards are pretty tough. Uh, yellow pine boards, especially if if they're a little wet, they can they can be they can take the force of two white pine dry boards. So the the, the number of boards is always is always kind of misleading. Um, but anyway, these <clears throat> these are pretty cool. So look forward to a review of me actually breaking these. So stick around later.
closing thoughts on these. They're very, very good for training and even for, for black belts um, to practice your unusual breaks and speed breaks and stuff because the, the opportunities are, are endless as far as uh, how many times you can break and what kind, kinds of breaks. And this one is a little less forgiving in that you got to hit it just right. You can't hit it too high or too low or else uh, the, the, the power of the holder gives out before the, the board will give out. So this is really, really a more advanced of a training tool. But these, these smaller ones, they're really great for uh, training, even for black belts, like I said, and for beginners. A couple of comments I do have uh, as far as the use of them. They, uh, in order to get these lined up, uh, it takes a little bit of precision, and uh, it takes a little bit of force to get them lined up just right, to get it uh, just, just so, and beating it with your hand after a while gets kind of old. So what I've done is uh, when you're going to use these, if you're going to use these in a, in a full training session, get some kind of mallet or something so you can line these up just right. Uh, even with the yellow board, it, it is a little bit, <laughs> a little bit uh, rough on the hands to try to keep beating these back corners uh, lined up. But otherwise, yeah, uh, I highly recommend getting a set of these. So, catch you later.